been a while since our last meeting. How's the landscaping business treating you? I quit. Changed careers again. This career's the one. I see. I'm assuming you're off your meds. What's the career this time? I've become a therapist, like you. Oh, shit. Elaine just doesn't seem to be interested in sex anymore. Well, that's probably because she's tired. From banging the pool boy. What? Well, she might as well. You're nailing the nanny. You what? In our home? Well, it's not really your home for that much longer. Somebody has a secret gambling problem. And when were you going to tell me about this? Probably about the same time that you told him that you quit your job at the ad agency and started stripping. You slut! Hey, let's be honest, Robert. You're no stranger to the strippers your own self. You... And that's time! Looks like we got a lot to talk about next week, don't we? Proud of you too. I got my degree in everything. University of Shanghai Online. How many hours in front of a computer was that? A full 15. Clearly a thorough program. I think I'm a nymphomaniac. I'm not familiar with that term. I think I have a sex addiction. Go on. Everything I see is suggestive and it makes me horny. Let's do a little test. Uh, go ahead and lay back. Close your eyes. Now I want you to do the first thing that comes to your mind when you open your eyes. And open. I'm developing the Brandywine method of therapy. The Brandywine method. I really think I'm onto something here. We can't fit. This is important. But we won't both fit. I'm not going to start this session until you are both lying on that couch. Mm-hmm. Oh, Wasting a lot of needed therapy time here. <laughs> Josh, suck it in. Maggie? Big skinny thoughts. <sighs> Honey. Still charging a couple's rate. It's all about honesty with your patient. Brutal honesty. There's like this, this clicking sound in my phone, like maybe it's bugged, you know? And there's always headlights in my rearview mirror, like there's always someone right behind me, following. It's all just in my head, right? I'm just being paranoid. I'd say you're under surveillance. The bionic ear has a useful range of up to 100 yards. You've got perverts monitoring public bathrooms with closed circuit cameras. The FBI, CIA, DHS, they're monitoring your phone calls via satellite. Hey, psst, come here. I hear that they're putting GPS locators in people's shoes now. You do realize you need to earn your patient's trust. Oh, trust me. They will tell me anything. So there I was, right? I'm just licking and sucking this beautiful nipple. And after about 30, 35 seconds or so, maybe 28 seconds because we just turned back the clock, I'm realizing that there's an extra nipple on this boob. Yeah, right? I see that it's not a nipple. It's a mole. It's a giant nipple-sized mole. And I like it. Oh, man. I'm just so glad I can talk to you about this with some level of confidence. I gotta tell somebody. That is just too good. Artex, uh, therapy is not a time to experiment on the human psyche. Two nipples, you say? Oh, my method's not limited to humans. I don't think he loves me anymore. Can you try talking to him? Because he just gives me that look. Of course. He's seeing someone else. Oh, yeah, just go. No, come back. Come back. I have been terrified of stuffed animals ever since I was a, a baby. I mean, just thinking about going to that Build-A-Bear workshop, it, it sends me into a panic. Trudy, it's time to face those fears.
think about that? Honestly, I'd like to call you crazy, but this is a judgment-free zone. You've seen my infomercial. I'm Artax Brandywine, recently licensed therapist with the comfiest couch in town. Come on down to the judgment-free zone known as my office. I'm just gonna prorate the session. Just charge you for the for five minutes we've spent here and call it a day. Yeah.